Yo, what's up guys, now it's UFC. Welcome back with another video. So guys, in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to do lunging strikes. Uh, the lunging hooks that you see me throw on stream, you know, I use them all the time to punish my opponents, you know. You could do it off um, blocking a head kick, you know, they can, they can miss a head kick and you can close that distance and punish them. And yeah, super good counter. And at the end of this video, guys, I'm going to show you clips of me using them in real fights, you know, just to show you how I use them in a real match. But right now we're in practice mode against a computer that won't move. And I'll just show you guys how to do it. So we'll start with the tutorial. So there's two ways to do it. There's an easy and a hard way. The the hard way is using the left stick. This is the way the way I use it, the left stick. And there is advantage to it. And yeah, um, I feel like it's it's a lot faster to output using the left stick. You know, especially if you need to do it real quickly because you've missed a kick. You, you need to act quick. I've always mastered the left kick. The, the easier version, I didn't even know you could do it this way until someone told me pretty late. But yeah, I was always under the impression you can only do it with the left stick. But I'm going to show you guys how it's done with the left stick. So first, you've got to, you need to know how to forward step towards your opponent like this. You just flick your left stick to the right towards your opponent like that, right? So I'm going forward, forward, forward. The next thing you want to do is throw a hook straight after it. But guys, the timing is key. You, you want to make sure you don't see yourself forward step. So you, you see that? You want to flick towards your opponent, right? But you want to throw your hook before you see your opponent actually forward step, before you see Conor McGregor forward step. So the timing is this, like that. So I, I forward step towards my opponent and quickly throw a hook, you know, and I, we didn't see my character forward step. He just lunges like that. Bang. See that? That's, that's the timing. You can use both hands. You don't have to just throw your rare hook. Lead. Oh, shit. That's fuck that up. Lead hook. Uh, it's it's harder to do the straight lunge punches from this one. You've got to do it by accident. Yeah, you've got to like... It's weird. You've got to lunge, hold L1, and then let go of it and press square, if that makes sense. Like, it's so hard to do the straight ones. Um, honestly, I do, I do the straight ones by accident online. It's just a complete accident. But, guys, now I'm going to show you guys the easier version, the ones you can. You'll find this way a lot easier. So, you hold L1... Now you're going to flick your right stick towards your opponent. And you don't need to really time this one like, like the, the left stick one. You know, you could be late, you can be early, but you flick your right stick and you quickly throw a hook. You know, you could be late. You know, it covers more distance if you're a bit late, if that makes sense. Um, but if you're early, you can be fast like that. And guys, what I like to do is if my opponent throws a head kick, right, I like to punish it. So he's going to throw it, bang. Oh my god. He had low stamina, that's why he got knocked out. But you guys see what I mean. Sometimes you don't have enough time to um, to uh, punish them by just walking up to them. So if he throws a head kick, sometimes you don't have enough time to walk up to them and throw a hook because they'll block. Let me get Justin Gaethje to block straight after. Oh, wrong dude. Like that. Like he's going to throw a head kick. You're walking up to him and he's he's got his guard up. Oh, he did. But... You know, if you if you oh, let me wait for a stamina to come back. If you throw a lunging hook, right from distance when he when he whiffs, then you you know you'll be able to punish him and do loads of damage. Because the faster the faster you punish someone, as soon as they whiff, the more damage you do. If you if you let it if you let it wait, then it won't do too much damage. So we're gonna do it again, bank, and then wait for a stamina to come back. I'm gonna do it at full stamina, bank. On UC4, I used to do a lot more damage. I have to say, in this game they let you off a lot. Bang. That one missed for some reason. There you go. Knocked him down there. But yeah guys, you get the point. You don't it doesn't have to be a head kick. It could be a leg kick, guys, right? We'll get him to block actually straight after. Oh. Blocks. Alright, cool. So he's gonna throw a leg kick. Oh he's not apparently. Come on, what's wrong with this bot? There you go. So you can, you can punish anything. You guys get the point, right? Uh, another thing I want to show you guys is you can do a block counter off a head kick too. So we're going to get Justin Gaethje to throw a head kick again, right? But well, this time we're going to block it. Lunch hook. And there you go. That's one I, I really like to do. I always used to do that on UFC 4. It catches people off guard. And I'm going to get him to do it again. I'm going to try and attempt to use my right stick this time. I don't usually do that. So I'm going to see if it's the same. Yeah, so... To me, it feels awkward because I'm really used to the left stick one. And, you know, I outputted it really slow there too. So it 
guys, it's up to you. You can master the left stick one. You can master the right stick one. The right stick one's easier. So I would recommend you use the right stick one. But if you, if you master the left this left stick one, there's no there's nothing wrong with that too. It's just a bit harder to learn the timing. But you know, once you master that timing, it just becomes muscle memory. But but yeah, it's a lot easier to to do the lunging straights with the the right stick one. I have to say, because all you got to do is lunge and press square like that. Or you could you could do it a triangle, I believe, too. Boom. If your if your opponent's taunt oh shit. Can you not taunt? Oh. Oh, you can't get your opponent to taunt. Oh, because of the uh, I see. Because it just goes to playback. <laughs> it's a good if no, if your opponent's being cocky or something, right? It's a good way to quickly just fucking throw a lunging hook at them like this. Bang, knock them out. I've done it many times, guys. I've done it many times. But yeah guys, I'm gonna show you guys some footage of me using these in a real match. And just to prove that, you know, they can be used quite effectively in a real game. So we'll do that right now. All right, cool, guys. Here's a clip from Division 20 Ranked where I, I managed to pull off the lunging strike counter about three times in this one round. So we're going to play this. I'm Conor McGregor. I'm also going to break down this clip and give you guys some tips whilst we go through it from both me and my opponent. You know, we're both good players. So there you go, guys. He, miss he misses that head kick. And straight away, I'm going for a lunging hook, right? And it turns into a straight. My intention is to throw a hook. But sometimes I accidentally throw a straight. Still does a lot of damage, you know. And if you noticed, I followed up with a, a lead hook. Because I expect my opponent to be hurt. I expect them to get stunned after these counters, right? And so it's always good to follow up with shots just in case they get hurt. You could chain a combination off it. Maybe you could throw a lead hook into a rare uppercut. Deal some serious damage. So why not? And, you know, now we're trading in the pocket. I'm, I'm blocking. I'm trying to throw simple combinations. So we cut him up with that punch. I'm popping that straight at maximum range of Connor. I like to do that. I notice he's 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 noticed I'm spamming that straight a bit, right? I'm throwing it. And what he's going to do is step back and try punish me. He, he expects me to miss my left, right? So he can punish me with a head kick. I've made the read, right? Gone back a few steps and lunge lunge hooked him or lunge straight him. And notice, guys, I followed up with a combination. He's a good player. He knows how to use his head movement properly. His block head movement. Um, I made a tutorial on it in my head movement video, and I, I gave those tips out. Whenever you're stunned and and someone throws a hook at you at your block, you should always slip. And my opponent will do that really well here. So I'm throwing hooks, and he's slipping because he expects me to throw an uppercut after or a straight. No, no one really throws a double hook. It would have been sp it's smart for me to throw a double hook there, but I didn't. You know, that's just not what people do. Uh, catches me with an elbow, and my opponent doesn't learn. He's he's trying to he's really keen on trying to pull off this head kick counter. Obviously, Leon Edwards has a really dangerous head kick in this game, and boom, punished. That time he got the knockdown. So that's that's it for that clip, guys. I'm gonna move on to another one. Right, cool guys. Here's another good clip. I'm McGregor on the left. My opponent's McGregor on the right. So in this clip, I managed to pull off a a block head kick counter. So we're gonna see some of that. Um, so yeah, let me just play it. So my opponent's good, you know, but I've hurt, notice I've hurt him to his nose. He's got like a broken nose, right? So I'm throwing a lot of strikes down the middle, down the pipe, right? To try damage his nose. I'm using McGregor's left hand. And there you go, I drop him. I got I got that maximum range on that left hand. That's why it done damage, you know? And then he's trying to create some space for himself. He lunges back, comes back in. Boom, there it was, guys. Beautiful. We're going to go back and watch that again, guys. Notice what I did there. I blocked the head first, and then I threw a lunging strike. So, there you go. The head kick, the head kick gets blocked, right? I immediately let go of my block so I could do the lunging strike, guys. You, you know, you've got to do this count pretty fast. And then, boom. And, guys, like I said, I always throw the lunging straight by accident. I don't, I don't really mean it, but I'm glad I did throw a lunging straight because he, he was hurt to his nose, so i done more damage there. I'm focusing, you know... I'm focusing that damage, if that makes sense. You know, that's that's what you guys should be doing too. If he's got a cut, then I recommend you throw a hook. But lunging straight are beautiful. And then in the second, oh, he's block breaking me. He's doing a good job block breaking me. And then, boom, again, he misses that head kick, and we punish him with a lunging straight, knock him out cold. A lot of people don't expect you to throw these counters, guys. There's only a few people out there that do counters like these. So, 
you know, you'll really catch your opponent off guard if you could pull these counters off. All right, cool, guys. Here's a little bonus clip for you guys. Just a fun one. I do pull off a launch hook counter in this one. So I'm McGregor in the, in the blue gloves. My opponent's in the red gloves. So we're going to play this. And, you know, I'm keeping it respectful. And he goes for a fake glove touch. And we punish him with a launch hook. That's beautiful. A beautiful counter you guys can pull off, you know. And then... Beautiful story tell ending. But there you go, Annie rage quits. So guys, you know, like I said, a launch hook counter is a super effective counter if you can learn it. Obviously, go practice mode, you know, practice it. Figure out what stick you like to use, whether you like to use the left stick or the right stick. The right stick's obviously easier, so I would recommend you try and master that one. I'm just fully like addicted to using the left stick because I've been using it for years. And I didn't even realize you can use the right stick up until now. But um, yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it's helped you guys out. If it has, drop a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more. I plan on bringing out more tips and tricks like this. And, you know, I'm going to be revealing some secrets soon for sure that will make you guys better players. Because, because if these Division 20 players can use it, then surely everyone can. It's not fair that these Division 20 players can hold on to these secrets and not, not tell anyone about them. I think everyone should know how to play the game so it's fair game. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.